Do 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 do. I eat game. Yeah. Hey, Shinobis, Mark here, and we are finally here with the Genishiro Guide. And um, man, this was a long time coming. I worked many hours fighting this guy trying to get this going and uh it was quite an adventure but anyway all right let's get going here so the goal of this guide is to i'm gonna try and show you how to win him with the basics not using like shadow rush or other things i know that stuff works but i wanted to try and do it so that when you're playing the story and you have the basics you can do it from here now we are going to be aggressive we're going to stay close we're going to do a lot of parrying if that if that's too talent challenging go explore go to senpu village go other places and get xp and explore and get more gourd siege seeds by the way you should have five to seven of those by the time you get here also max out your spirit emblems get like gokan sugar echo sugar pellets anything you need to help boost now if you're having a tough time with this which i'm sure you are there are people i know who can do this like on their third shot and that's awesome but that's not me it took me a long time if you're having a tough time get shinobi eyes get ascending and descending carp that's all stuff that does more posture posture damage also fang and blade is super helpful great skill healing is really difficult but it's not impossible in this battle i'm going to show you how to do that also I killed him in an experimental run. You're going to see me do stuff here in the video that is like uh, not normal and I'm going to miss stuff, but it's because I was trying new things because I was having such a hard time. And also, last but not least, I know this sounds a little weird, but like relax. Seriously, like I had to tell myself to relax my shoulders and just play the game. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing he always, always does in the beginning of the fight, he always fires an arrow and then he'll do a rolling slash and i got really really good at blocking this and of course i didn't do it on the run where i beat him but you can do this he does the same two things all the time so what we're going to do is we're going to strike once and only once and he will always strike back immediately and we're going to parry that strike and this is how we're going to get that posture gauge up and it's kind of like a parry dance so if you look up, we did a little bit of that damage. Just hit him once, and we're trying to lure him into hitting that. Now, when he brings the sword back and he kind of crouches like that, he's going to go into a flurry. So I know it's going to feel weird and uncomfortable for some people. It did for me. You're going to tap and parry all these shots, and then he does this final big hit. And it's a rhythm. You will learn the rhythm, but we're going to get back in here. Remember, we're being aggressive, so we're trying to get in here. Now, when he goes up like that, you want to dodge or you want to roll i am i got that is probably the hardest move for me but yeah i always got hit by it but you can dodge around it again we're going to press forward we're going to hit parry hit parry and that is how we're going to lure him in the the early actually the first and the second phase now when he when he just doesn't jump up in the air and he pulls back he's going to shoot twice and then he's going to roll and hit and we're going to parry those. And then when he goes up in the air like this, that means something big is coming. We need to Makiri counter this time. We're going to press forward and dodge, and we're going to slam his sword into the ground. Look at that. Oh, he's so unhappy right now. But look at, look at the parry meter. Look how far up we got it. So we're going to keep parrying. We're going to keep doing this. Parry, hit, parry, hit, and look, we got it. And look at, guess what I do? I totally fudged this because I got so excited because it was pretty much a, almost a perfect run. I blew it, but... He's jumping up, and you know we're going to parry this, and then immediately we're going to uh, Makiri counter it. So it's forward and, do and dodge, and you'll slam it down. Now, if your health is low, when you perform the first death, death blow, you do have time to heal, and then you're going to immediately block that. Again, keep pressing forward. Be aggressive. Get in there. And parry, block, parry, block. So we know when he draws back, we got three parries coming up. Arrow, arrow slash or he does error error roll he's going up and usually in the we're in the second phase we would mercury counter now we're going to jump over him here comes the perilous attack so we're going to press forward and double jump you can see he's doing a slash right so we're trying to press forward and double jump so we go over him it didn't happen that time but sometimes it does and you end up behind him you could whack him good so we're hit parry hit parry and this little dance, you'll start to learn it. Now, when he jumps to the side like this, get ready to parry, which is preferred, or just block it, which I didn't do. Um, but 
that that is how we're going to build up the posture meter by blocking all these things. Now, look, when you have uh, when you have time to heal, you got to dodge back, get some space, and he pulls out his arrow. You can dodge it. You just have to like drink and wait like a half second and then dodge. So there, he's jumping. All right. And so what I did there is I jumped. I did a double jump over his head. So we're going in block parry, block parry. So in the second phase, they really do don't do a Makiri counter here. Usually, it, but it's rare. But he will do he will do a thrust in this attack. But he normally does a sweep. Anyway, so keep pressing, get in his face, and hit parry, hit parry. You can do one or two hits. Oh, so here he hops back. He normally just does like this single shot. If you see him hop back, there's usually one shot coming. Now, here he's drawing. He's not jumping up in the air. So we know that two hits are coming, a roll, and a slash. So you just learn these, these various attacks, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to take a while, but that's fine. You will begin to learn this stuff. And so what I'm trying to do here is, oh, here it comes. So I healed, and I, and I dodged to the left. Now, when he goes up like this, we know he's going to do that flurry of arrows that I'm terrible at blocking. But you can block them, you can parry them. Hit, parry, hit, parry. I probably should have brought him out of the corner. I kind of I kind of like the feeling of get, getting in there and forcing him to attack me because I thought I could get his posture up. And it did, it did work, but it didn't work as well as I'd hoped. So I kind of wish I actually would have brought him out a little bit. So there was a perilous attack. It was a sweep, so I jumped up and over it. So he got me, but that's okay. If you look... I have one resurrection, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. I actually have two. I actually earn it with a death blow. I'll get my second one here. I got really lucky with that. So what I'm doing is I'm just forcing it. And if you look down, I got my second resurrection. Did you see that? Okay, so now we're moving on to phase three. Phase three is crazy. So let's stop and talk about this for a second. So... I hope that you beat you beat Ashina Elite downstairs because when if you did if you didn't go back and fight him I have a guide go look for it it's awesome but you will learn lightning reverse and lightning reverse is essentially when you jump up in the air and you get hit by lightning you have to press the attack button before you land and you'll do a massive amount of damage to his posture it's very very helpful go get it if you don't have it so but the combat remains mostly the same he's going to do some things that are a little different but it's pretty similar to his other first two phases and his posture meter feels faster than the previous phases which is helpful use your prosthetic here use your axe use some other things now i tried to heal right off the bat because i told you i was experimenting don't do that don't heal you're going to sprint towards him you're going to dodge and roll behind him and attack him don't do what i did here healing is a lot harder in this phase so what i'm trying to do is i'm trying to press right so that's what you want to do too you want to make sure you stay on him now when he comes with a big lightning strike try to circle around and dodge and get behind him go and attack there. I made the mistake of double dodging and I went back. And that's unfortunate because I created too much space between us, but you want to be in his face. That way it will limit the type of attacks he comes. Okay, so when he pulls back, remember the flurry in the first phase? He does that here too, but block it. Look at look at his posture meter go up. It's super helpful. And you just tap, 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 tap that, um, that uh, block button. So he got me there. There was uh, he had a perilous attack, and it was a thrust. So I sort of McCary countered that. So I'm trying to heal, and I'm trying to get out of the corner. But then I got him in the corner. So I'm trying to get his posture meter up and force him into. I'm trying to force him into attacking me. But I see the perilous attack coming. I actually dodge back, which is totally you can do that, but it's not recommended. Now here comes the lightning arrow. Um, and normally you just want to dodge this. Now, you could stay in the air and get hit, come down. That's what I should have done, but I just wasn't feeling it. For, for whatever reason, it didn't feel right, and I decided to dodge and completely, um, completely get away from that. Now, this is a great time to use the prosthetic because he's kind of stuck in this animation. So there we go, prosthetic. And if, you, if you're not recognizing this follow-up attack, that's Blood and Fang. It allows you to basically do two attacks. Really helpful. So he's going up in the air. We know what that means, right? He's going to come down. We're going to parry. And then he's going to do, he usually does a sweep. So we're going to try to, there it is. There's the um, perilous attack. We're going to jump, go over him, and then we're going to try and attack him. Here I do prosthetic, 
And then here comes, finally I nail it. So he's gonna shoot lightning at me. I jump up, he hits me, and then I am charged with lightning. So I'm gonna hit the attack button before I hit the ground and look, not only does it stun him, it also, look at his posture meter, it like shot up. So you want to watch this video again and try and practice it. But you will get this, stick with it. It's a really, really tough fight. But just take your time, learn the rhythm of the attacks, and take him down. Thanks so much for watching my guide. I hope it helps you out. Good luck with this, and uh, I hope you're having a good time.